Edmonton Strathcona. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. There's so many keen to ask. They're all groaning they didn't get asked. Um, I want to thank my colleague for his very thorough analysis of this issue and his very sincere approach to it. The beef industry is very important in Alberta, but so is the slaughter industry. You know, they go hand in glove. Um, I've spoken in this house before about my background in enforcement. And we need to really get to the crux of this. The CVS, the Compliance Verification System, is about the company verifying that it's complying with the law in any system it has in place. The enforcement role is the government, and we're seeing gaping holes. Does the member agree with me that it's time for the government to come clean and produce a clear enforcement compliance policy with clear directives on what enforcement should, action should be taken in each situation in the food industry. The Honourable Member from Welland, uh, time is just about up, so a quick answer, please. Yeah, I, I would absolutely agree with my friend from uh, Edmonton, and she uh, clearly understands what it means to have enforcement and have teeth in regulations to make sure that we no longer get to this piece of, I'll make a request. The requests didn't work. Enforcement works. That's where we need to get to, and I want to thank her for her, her insightful uh, piece in this, Mr. Speaker, and the, the work she's done before in the environmental file in her previous career about understanding how enforcement is the piece that you actually need in all of this to ensure that those who won't do what you ask them to do will be forced to do it because they have no other choice. And that's what's missing in all of this is that enforcement mechanism. Mm -hmm.